President William Ruto and his government committed to sort out the various challenges in the tea sector, among many other subsectors in our economy. And he has tasked me with the responsibility of initiating discussions and spearheading reforms in the agricultural sector, in trade, in all manners, in all sectors, with the expected return of putting money in people's pockets and most of our farmers. And therefore, this is a meeting of uh, same minds. We have got a convergence because I believe all of us want the best for our farmers. And uh, the president and I are coming from the position that our farmers have been disadvantaged unfairly because of a multiplicity of factors. We are concerned about production, and that is why you have seen us put money for the subsidy program for fertilizer, trying to lessen the burden of the tea farmer to enable them to have a good yield without having too much input from themselves. We are concerned about the prices of tea in the international market, and we are concerned about <clears throat> the capture of the industry, of the subsector, by various forces to the disadvantage of the farmer. You had the president uh, yesterday clearly give instructions to do whatever it takes to make sure that we free this industry and the coffee subsector and the tea subsector from capture by the various forces <coughs> that have been disadvantaging the farmer. We also want to intervene with the National Assembly for streamlining the various laws so that the laws that we have are beneficial to the farmer. I want from the onset to declare that the President and I have no interest in this sector at all. We are so free. We are not captured by anybody and we have no interest. We are not brokers, we are not dealers, we are not farmers. So our reasoning will be very objective. <coughs> very objective, because we are not captured. We have no conflict of interest whatsoever. Any intervention we shall make or propose to you is in the interest of the Kenyan farmer. And uh, the president and I will be subjected to an audit in another four years and six months and uh, before the people of Kenya and uh, because we have a social contract with the people of Kenya including the tea farmers and we had a took to assist them to have better earnings it is therefore a full-time job to engage you and other stakeholders in the industry to make sure that we work together for the benefit of the farmer. I told the chairman, we are willing to work with you. And we have nothing uh, against you. We must respect institutions and we must respect elected people. And the small scale growers whom you lead, otherwise we are not in, we are interested in. We are interested in the small farms, the growers who have come together at the KTDA. I want to acknowledge and rightfully so, that KTD has done a good job in terms of bringing the farmers together and putting the tea together and market it together. Unlike the coffee sector where things have really gone haywire because they were not able to stay together. Every factory is doing things on its own. That is why we have lost a lot because we don't have bargaining power. But at the same time, even after when you are together, the farmer is still not getting value for money. So we must look mechanisms how to benefit the farmer how does the strength of ktda to bring all the tea together how do we leverage leverage on that 
to get a good price for the tea farmer. How do we look at, around the issues in Mombasa at the tea auction? Where there is collusion between the various players to the disadvantage of the farmer. 